What is going on guys? This is AppleTech752 and in this video I'm going to show you how to enter Pawn DFU mode on your A5 devices. Now A5 devices are the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad Mini 1, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 3rd generation, and the iPad 2nd generation. This exploit itself is not an iCloud bypass, but it will lead to one eventually and I may be referencing it in my future videos where I actually go over all the steps you need to bypass iCloud untethered on all of these devices. But for now, I'm just going to be going through step by step exactly how you can get this exploit set up and go into Pawn DFU mode. Let's get started. So this does require external hardware. You're going to need an Arduino Uno and an Arduino USB host shield. This has not been ported to Windows or Mac and the developers are not planning on it super soon. So I'm going to have links for both these parts down below in the description. And if this is something you're going to want to do in the future, I highly recommend buying these two parts. And then of course the software is 100% free. So if you go over to the GitHub page, which is github.com slash alexdandy slash checkmate a5, then you'll find all sorts of information about this exploit. But basically we're going to be starting off with the Arduino software and getting it all set up and ready to use. So go over to arduino.cc, click on software and downloads. And the Arduino IDE right here is the one you're going to want. So click on Mac OS X. And then here, just click on the just download button right here. And as soon as the download finished, go ahead and close your web browser. And you should see the Arduino file right here in your downloads. Go ahead and open up Finder and go to applications and drag and drop the Arduino into your applications. In this place, I already have it. So I'm just going to click on stop and open up the Arduino software. And it should look just like this. You'll get a nice little splash screen. And then in a moment, you should see the actual software panel, which is what we're going to use to configure our Arduino. All right, here we are. So now there are a few important things we have to do. First of all, we're going to go to tools and click on manage libraries. And in here, we're going to search for once this progress bar finishes down at the bottom and type in USB and click enter. And this one right here that says USB host, go ahead and install it. And just like this, we can now go ahead and close the library manager. And now when we go into Finder, Documents, we should see a folder here called Arduino. Go ahead and open up this folder and you should see libraries inside of here. So inside of libraries, we're just going to do a little magic here. So now let's head over back to the GitHub page. And we have this list of commands here. So basically, we're going to follow all of these commands. So let's open up a terminal window and we're going to type cd space and drag and drop the libraries folder and now click enter once we're inside of here let's go ahead and copy this command copy go back to the terminal and paste and this should take about one to two minutes and as soon as this finishes we're going to copy the next command and paste it back inside the terminal. And same thing with this one right here. Copy and paste. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Now let's go back over to the Safari page and we're actually gonna download the exploit itself. So if we go back to the top where it says code, click on this little green button and click download zip. And this is gonna download the folder to your downloads right here. I'll go ahead and drag and drop it to the desktop and we're going to open up this folder and inside of here you'll find the usb host library dot patch so let's go back up to the code where we have these commands now we're going to copy this first part git apply and paste that in the terminal and then we're going to drag and drop the patch from checkmate a5 and it may give us an error the first time let's see it says it applied it successfully. 
So that means we are all set. So now just to double check, if we go inside of here, we should see the USB Host Shield 2.0 inside the libraries folder. That means everything installed and we're all ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is go to this folder right here and delete the part that says master. We just want it to say checkmate A5. Once we're done with that, we can go to the Arduino menu bar and click on file open. And now click on desktop and select checkmate A5. And right here, select the checkmate A5.ino and click open. And this is gonna go ahead and load the actual exploit into the Arduino manager. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my device to the computer. So I just connected my iPod Touch fifth generation, which is the device I'm gonna be using for this video. And it got an iTunes pop-up right here that says it's detected in an iPod in recovery mode. So that's a sign that we are in DFU mode. So yeah, just make sure to put it in DFU mode the manual way and you should be all set. And now we're gonna open up Sliver and it doesn't really matter whatever one you want. I'll just click on iPhone 5 right here and we're gonna click on enter pawn DFU. And of course, this isn't actually gonna enter pawn DFU, but it is going to tell us what the CPID is for our device, which is very important. As you can see, it says found CPID 8942. In this case, if we look back at the Checkmate Arduino file, it says define A58942. And that's the same number as we got in Sliver. So that means that we don't need to modify anything. However, if you do this on like an iPad mini or an iPad third generation, it may give you a different CPID. So whatever your CPID is right here, you need to copy this and change this CPID to the one from here. So now that we're done with that step, go ahead and close out a sliver. And at this point, I'm actually going to switch over to showing you the, how to set up the Arduino. All right, so if you haven't already, I highly recommend going and checking out the links down below in the description, which will link you to all of the parts you need to buy for this video. But if you do buy your Arduino Uno, it may come in a box that looks something like this, where you're gonna have the actual board itself. And the board will look something like this maybe, or it might look something like this, which is what I did when I already put the host shield on. But basically, you're going to get a board, which is this bottom part right here. That's the board. And then you're going to get the host shield, which is the part that actually has the USB port, which of course we need a USB port to connect an iOS device. So once you get these two components, um, they may be separate, they may be already put together, but if they are separate, uh, then you're going to want to connect them. And as you can see, the most important thing to do is to line up this back part. So this connector right here needs to go into that connector. And assuming these two are going into each other, then these should line up perfectly and it should be pretty self-explanatory where the rest of these pins go. So yeah, go ahead and like put these two together just like a sandwich. And then you're also going to need an LED and they're pretty easy to get. Uh, you could probably buy one at a hardware store or an electronics store, but basically you have uh, LEDs have a long end and a short end. As you can see, like this is an extra one and the short end is going to go into the ground because it's negative and the long end is going to go into uh, this one pin here, two pin here. So think of it. We have one, two, the, the shorter end or the negative one goes into the second one on this one. And then we have one, two, and the longer one or the positive one goes into the pin right here. So that's basically how you connect your LED. And at this point, if you bought a getting started kit, it should come with a cable sort of like this, which is what you're actually gonna use to connect the Arduino to the computer. So yeah, this cable is gonna plug in right here just like that. And then the other end should just be a USB, which will look something like this. So go ahead and plug that end into your computer. And then if you look down here, you should see a green light come on as soon as your board is connected to the computer. And you may also see some orange light flashing on the other end. If not, that's fine. Uh, if you do get a red light, like this was the other board I had that was no good. Let me plug this one in for a second. As you can see, when I plug this board into the computer, I get a red light. That means it's an aftermarket defective board and you don't want to use one of these because they're extremely complicated and you have to install special software because they're like an aftermarket generic part. 
So make sure to buy the right ones that I'll link in the description and then you should get the nice little green light as soon as you plug it into the computer. Anyways, enough talk about that. We're actually gonna be setting up the Arduino now. So as soon as you plug it in, we're gonna go back to the software and you should be able to go to tools and port and then make sure to select the right port. As you can see here, dev slash CU USB and it says Arduino Uno. Make sure to select that one. And assuming that's checked, that means you should be all good to go. And then also here under board, make sure you have Arduino Uno selected. It is selected by default, so that shouldn't be an issue. And now just picking up where we left off with the rest of the software process, we're just gonna click on the little upload button and it's gonna say compiling sketch and it's gonna go ahead and upload it to the Arduino so we can use it to exploit with iPod DFU. And just like this, it says all done uploading. So at this point, we can go ahead and disconnect the Arduino board from the computer. And I'm gonna grab my iPod 5 again. And we're gonna connect the device to the Arduino board. So let me just zoom out here. And now I'm gonna take the other end of the USB cable and we're gonna plug it in right here to the Arduino board. And now let's take this end right here and plug it into the computer. And as you can see, the light just blinked three times. We had three flash, flash, flash. Now we're waiting for just a second and it should light solid and that means our device is in pawn DFU mode. And it looks like for me, it did not work the first try. So if it doesn't work in like perfect, our device is booting up here. So all we have to do if our device is booting up for whatever reason is just hold down the power and the home together at the same time until the screen turns black and immediately let go of the power and keep holding the home button. And now I'm actually gonna unplug from here as well and plug back into the computer. And this is gonna allow iTunes to put our device into Pond DFU mode. So I'm back into the computer and now we're gonna launch iTunes. We're gonna go into recovery mode, that's all good. Let's restart the device. And now let go of the power, keep holding the home. Restart one more time. Let go of the power, keep holding the home button. And in just a moment here, we should get a pop-up that says our device is in recovery mode or DFU mode. So once we get that, let's go ahead and unplug our iPod or whatever device you're using from the computer. Now we're gonna plug it back into the Arduino one more time and watch this LED. It's gonna go ahead and light up as soon as I plug the board in. This, by the way, is connected to my computer over here. As you can see, that's where the black USB cord is connected. So I have the Arduino board connected to my computer and I have this iPod connected to the Arduino board. Right, so I'm plugging it in right here. Watch the LED. As you can see, one, two, three flashes. Our device is not doing anything. And in just a moment here, we should get a nice solid LED light. Look at that, the LED is lit and turned on. That means our device is in pond DFU mode. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the Arduino from our computer, disconnect the USB cable here, and plug the iPod back into the computer. And just like this, we have a pop-up that is perfect. Click OK and quit iTunes. And at this point, we are all ready to go. Our device is in Pond DFU mode, and we can actually try to load IBSS and IBAC or whatever else we might want. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you're watching it from another video, then go back to wherever you came from and finish with the iCloud bypass. But if not, then stay tuned for more. I'm gonna work on this bypass and hopefully get full iCloud bypasses out for 
all of the A5 devices I mentioned, we're still working on an iPod DFU dilemma, but I'm trying to figure it out for you guys so we can get freedom from iCloud activation lock. Of course, that's all we do here on Apple Tech 752, your number one iCloud bypass resource. Until next time, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit at reddit.com slash r slash setup app, and peace out.